next up is Mitch Coulter. Mitch is the new executive director for North Harvest Bean Growers Association. So we're very pleased that uh, he's able to join us. And, and we've asked him to give a, a quick overview of, of the association and what they're up to to help we as, as dry bean growers. So Mitch, would you please take it away? Sure. Uh, good morning, everybody. And welcome to the Dry Bean Getting It Right production update. My name is Mitch Coulter. I'm the executive director for the North Harvest Bean Growers Association. Uh, I started with the North Harvest Bean Growers on September 1st, so I'm brand new to the organization. I came from the Minnesota Corn Growers Association. My focus was on trade, value-added opportunities, and ethanol build-out. Uh, we are going through a transition period with Tim Cornea as the executive vice president. We'll be retiring come July. And so we're going through that transition period right now. The board will be uh, doing a new five-year strategic plan in July, and that will drive our priorities for the coming years. We also are looking at adding the new communications marketing director to our association, and uh, we will be uh, putting that information out here shortly. Uh, research is still the number one priority for North Harvest and extension partnership is critical to our growers' knowledge base. On the left here, you'll see a picture of the North Harvest Board and uh, both of our councils. We're a little unique in that respect as we cover uh, North Dakota and Minnesota. We have always followed a marketing plan and a five-year marketing plan. And within our organization, they have identified these priority areas as importance, nutrition research, national and regional promotion, field research, market development, and communications. I want to just touch on the dry bean health research program that has been developed in coordination with the National Institute of Health. In 2020, Dr. Stephen O'Keefe's North Harvest sponsored project, Beans and Colon Cancer was selected for $3.7 million over five years. That brings the total bean projects at the National Institute of Health selected to $12.2 million for the life of the program. Every year, North Harvest puts out a request for proposal at $20,000 a piece for ideas around bean research. In 2021, uh, we, we selected three projects around the health area of research. Promoting health through dietary gut microbiome. It was also dry bean polyphenol, gut inclusion to prevent inflammation and metabolic syndrome. And lastly, dry bean gut inclusion to reduce cardiovascular risk factors and menopause. We also focus on national and regional promotion. We have three partners that we work with in this area, um, Communique, 10 Acre Marketing, and the Culinary Institute. I'm gonna start just by covering Communique. Uh, they manage our Bean Institute and the social media site that goes along with that. You can find the Bean Institute at www.beaninstitute.com. It really is kind of the Wikipedia of Bean. Um, Communique developed, uh, well actually Bean Institute is developed to promote bean nutrition and health to consumers and Communique does the video and educational material work for that organization. Also the social media had almost 400,000 visitors. That's an enormous following for any commodity group. And then uh, Communique also manages the Culinary Institute conferences. There's five of those at the focus around K through 12 and university food programs, the National School Lunch Program, which feeds 30 million students daily. We also focus on nutrition professionals, food policy, and plant-based proteins. Communique manages the School Nutrition Association conferences. There's three of those. And then the Food and Nutrition Conference and Expo, which focuses on dietitians. We also have a contract dietitian on staff for food demonstrations, and her name is Casey Westrich. Just touch on the 10 Acre Marketing. Uh, they're a public relations firm out of Grand Forks, and they developed in 2020 our Beans for Life promotion. 
maybe have seen it. It's around celebrity chef Molly Yeh. She has a television show, Girl Meets Farm. It's on the Food Network television channel. And in November, we rolled out the program and the Beans for Life social media was released to the public. In November, we also had the Beans for Life campaign, which was announced in the Grand Forks Herald. And we do bean promotion article was promoted in the MarthaStewart.com website around Molly Yeh. And then just in December, Molly Yeh appeared on the eatingwell.com with a news article promoting the Beans for Life campaign. We are currently working on a 21 day bean challenge that will include Molly Yeh. And you can see the social media following. The celebrity engagement does provide quite a spike for our followers. The Culinary Institute of America, our third partner, is also managed by Communique, but they have five conferences that we really focus in on certain specific groups. For the Flavor Summit, we focus on hospitality industry chefs. The Menus of Change University Research Collaborative, we focus on university campus dining professionals. Healthy Kids Initiative, Healthy Kids Summit is around the National School Lunch Program. And this past year, board member Leon Schaefer did a great job in a presentation around Meet a Bean Farmer at this presentation. We also work with the Healthy Kitchens, Healthy Lives, and we focus on food suppliers and nutrition professionals. And lastly, the Global Plant Forward Summit, which focuses on food sustainability and healthier food choices on the menu. Next, I wanna to move to research, but I also wanna just touch on the virtual world that we're working in and another program that we sponsor called the NDSU Dirt Workshop. You see a picture of Greg actually virtually doing the presentation. He did a great job on the Dry Bean Cafe talk and we wanna just thank NDSU for leading those efforts. For research at North Harvest Research accounts for 20% of the North Harvest budget and the largest portion of our budget. In the last biennium, we funded 18 projects averaging about $34,000 a piece. You can find research results at www.northharvestbean.org slash growers slash research. And also I'd encourage growers to look at the NDSU Dry Bean Grower Survey and the NDSU Dry Bean Crop Production Booklet, which you've heard referenced a few times, but they are really great resources for growers. Market development, we are partnered with the U.S. Dry Bean Council for domestic and international marketing. We do have two board members that sit on the U.S. Dry Bean Council board. They are Kevin Reagan from Webster, North Dakota, and Roger Kerrigan from Cavalier, North Dakota. These guys really focus in on a few areas. I just wanna to touch on the USDA AMS Section 32 Food Assistance, which allows the government to make purchases of dry beans. Uh, this program was really important in 2020 as we did go over a million acres in dry bean country in North Harvest here with the average um, uh, production around 1,865 pounds per acre. So largest crop in the history. Um, USDA FSA Coronavirus Food Assistance Program or the CFAP2, the work that these guys put in allowed us to get specialty crop assistance for farmers, so that was pretty important. And then lastly, the idea of trying to get federal funds down to North Dakota and Minnesota around the Sclerotinia Research Initiative, Pulse Crop Health Initiative, and specialty crop block grants are really important high priorities for our organization. Lastly, we gotta really look for ways to communicate with our farmers and the best way to do that, we feel is through the Red River Farm Network. Red River works with us really closely in publishing five issues annually of the North Harvest Bean Grower Magazine. They also do a weekly radio segment called the Dry Bean Scene and they do weekly e-newsletter for any interested individuals that can subscribe and receive this information. And lastly, I just want to thank NDSU again for the Getting It Right Dry Bean Virtual Forum and NDSU Extension has really been great to work with for our organization. If you have any questions, here's my contact information. Mm -hmm.